Hi, and welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner. Today, we have a new appliance, or some people who are cooking fanatics say toys, for my kitchen. It's a rival four slicer toaster oven. 1,000 watts, bakes, broils, toast, 30 minute timer with option indicator, baking pan, and baking rack. Okay. I've had toaster ovens before and I just adore them and they last. This I purchased for $19.99 plus tax at my local store. Now my now let's see if, if I can't open it. Let's see if my son can. Since it's our newest appliance, we're going to use it for today's cooking show. It's just changed. The way I make them. There it is. See? When they box them, they box them. Now, you can see there's many to types of brands of toaster ovens, but you can see it. Mm hmm on, you know, you know what you're essentially getting by not the picture, but by the product on the shelf. And then just look. So anything like my store, finding exactly what you want is difficult. So, I matched it up by the picture on the box and the picture on the stand that I want. Now, Make sure you recycle your box like I'm going to. All right, we have the rack. The instruction manual. A, you know, little plate type of thing. And our actual toaster oven. Now, okay, for those of you with little children, this plastic is a death trap, so and also you can reuse it to put in your trash cans and then recycle it. After all, made out of oil. Okay. All right. And it says right on it a word of caution. Okay. Oh, and a little tip and advice. Do not put stuff on the top ever because it'll melt. In a toaster oven, this top gets very, very, very hot. Okay. Ta-da! It just plugs into your standard plug. And you're going to see it here first, my friends. Use it. And timer mode and heating mode. Toast, bake, broil. Okay. We're going to do some broiling. Okay. Now, we're going to put the rack in. Flip it over. Okay. There you go. All right, there you go. Thanks for my son. I have never done this before. My son always did it. And open up this. Now, what I always do when this is not in the dishwasher being washed, it stays inside. The toaster oven and you take it out whether you want to use this or you want to use this. You were right the first time. Okay. Okay, I was right. Okay, yeah, I was right. And save this. Just don't toss these away. Make sure you recycle and use them for different things. Now, my main reason purchasing this is that we're going on holiday and I'm thinking of bringing this with me to the hotel because we have a refrigerator in the room to cook. Okay, now that's our appliance opening. I just purchased that late last night. Let's test it, shall we? Okay, we're going to be doing two things. We're going to be making ham, egg, and cheese. 
So thus, we're going to be broiling in the toaster oven, one each. And we're going to have sliced apple on the side. Okay, which means there's going to be three of us dining, so six pieces of toast. Okay. And the butter. Okay. Three pieces of toast for the toaster oven and the butter's been out getting a warmer because well it's winter now and it's got to be usable okay now for the challenge okay this is a black label ham and it's keep refrigerating once opened and if this tab here is up, don't buy it. When you're purchasing it, make sure the tab is down. Okay, you can get this in many stores. Okay? All right, there we go. And then I put that down like this. I usually get a little flat knife like this. So ladies, so those who don't want to break your nails, or gentlemen, pick your tab up like this. Okay, hold your ham down and gently, carefully, this is real sharp around here people, lift up your back. Pull to you, there you go. Okay, all right, don't cut yourself. What is this? Okay, let me get another plate though. Oh. Um, will you get me a, a plate down, sweetheart? Alright, we need a plate to transfer our ham to. Now, this I don't look at as a um, Christmas ham or a meal ham. If you're one person or two people you want to do this, me, I'm going to drain the juice. All right, there we go. Make sure it doesn't drip on the floor. All right, there. Now, my son recently purchased this knife that's supposed to prevent things from sticking. Let's try it. Let's put to test the claims on that show. It's cutting well, people. You see it here. Um, I don't know where my son found this knife. I don't remember. Walmart. Walmart. Okay, same place we got the toaster up. Okay. Now, here's what we're gonna That's do. That's not the real version of it. It's an ass on TV version of it. Okay. <laughs> We're going to put a slice of ham on our bread. <clears throat> okay. One for each slice of bread. Okay. Now, we're going to go get sliced cheese. You realize you've got nothing on the burner. Yeah, it's heating oil. No, you mean you got nothing on that burner that's running. Yeah, I don't care. It's the front one's on, not the back one. Oh, crud. I put the wrong burner on again, people. Sorry about that. I have a tendency of doing that. Okay, I'm heating up the wrong burner. Okay, open your slice of cheese and put it on top. Okay, open a slice of cheese and put it on top. Now that toaster oven says it can toast four, but I'm going to read all the directions on it. Surprise! 
um, before I make any toast in it. But right now, we're gonna broil. Third one in there since I can do four. Let me just I don't know how I could fit four in there in the broiler. Now let's try it. Yeah. We can fit through four in there, people. Okay. Now, temperature mold to, no, that's too big. Okay. All right, how do you turn the broiler on? Okay. Okay, Stay, my, I guess my hands are a tad bit sticky from doing it. Okay, well that's on the broiler. Put your toast in your toaster. Okay. <coughs> Twice the cook as well. Okay, now let's make the eggs for this dish. Thanks to my son, the pan is getting preheated. Because that stuff is only going to take a minute to cook. You can enjoy a quick and easy breakfast in the mornings when you're in a hurry, especially at the holiday time like us. I'm gonna cook it. I'm gonna fry one egg a piece to go with it. Now, um, there we go. Each appliance does something completely different. I'm gonna, all right. Now we have to, we're going to save our ham because there's so much of this breakfast ham, as I call it, left that there's leftovers for another day. butter our toast. All right, let's butter our toast. Now let's check on our eggs. where the burner is hot for a while after. So I'm just gonna shut it off and it'll be fine. It'll finish cooking on its own. Okay, now let's put this in the sink. Also, we're done with that. All right, 
we have two other knives and let's have a little bit of apple on the side this apple is also fresh was just got yesterday and put it on the sides of the plate like an apple to enjoy. As I said before, we're big on healthy eating. And fruit is very enjoyable. There you go. I have it. Equal cuts. All right. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Now let, let's check our grill. Oh, they're lovely. See that? Coming along nicely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Not quite done. Alright, let's put these eggs away, friends. Back in there. I didn't use this knife at all, so I'm gonna put the, I'll just set that aside. All right, that goes in the sink. And um, put this in the refrigerator. Okay, let's remove our eggs from the heat. Ta-da! And we're going to put our eggs, one on each plate. And oh, you're going to see me taste test this too. And how I'm going to fix this into a ham, egg, and cheese sandwich. Oh, I guess I'm going to have to get I'll just use, um, the knife up. Oh, I'm gonna need a knife after all. <laughs> Still need to go. Okay. Ah, here we go. Okay, now, safety tip and hint. When you get in the tray that you've used out of the toaster oven, remember it's gonna be turned off. It's going to be hot. Okay. And the beauty of it is glass so you can see it. So there you have it. Okay. And you, you be safe. Okay. Because this tray is very hot. See how they're steaming? See the steam. It's very hot. And look at it. See, isn't that beautiful? Okay. Now let's get to this. Okay, now you, as you can see, you could have cooked four of these, which I didn't realize how it could be done. Okay. And I'm going to just set it on the side like this. This is how I'm going to serve it. I'm going to let pe people fix and eat it how you want. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to set that aside for my sons. And this. Okay, so there's that. And I'm just going to set that aside for now. Now, okay, here's my drink. Okay, and here's my plate. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, what I'm going to do to make mine, I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to put this on top of that. Okay, here's a ham, egg, and cheese sandwich. Okay, now I'm going to cut it in half and let you take a look. See 
how that looks. The eggs and the ham and the cheese is all melted. Now, a toast to all of you. As you know, I can't eat without a drink. <coughs> Wetting my whistle. And let's take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take another bite. Mmm. Well, the cheese is melted wonderful. All the flavors mixed together. And take a bit of the apple. Mmm. The yellow apples taste really, really sweeter than the red ones, I think. Mmm. Delicious. Well, there you have it, friends. Happy holiday. Ours is almost approaching Christmas. Here's a nice, quick and easy breakfast. We'll call it an egg ham and cheese sandwich with um, some lovely sweet apples on the side. Don't miss a thing. Enjoy all the videos. And love and kisses to all of you on this beautiful holiday. Happy holiday. See you next video. Bye, everybody.